Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, <clears throat> and today I've just been over at Twitter because I was talking to somebody else over at Next Level Racing trying to get my uh, ERS3 thing situated, but I, I came across the Console Warriors again. They're over there, back and forth. I mean, I guess there's this thing that um, is saying that the PlayStation 5's already hit its peak so we need a next level uh, so we need a mid-gen refresh so that we can continue to grow and then you got people firing back that xbox is the same and i'm like dude okay let's let's put this into perspective for you guys but first of all welcome back to frog boy x1 gaming i'm andrew and yeah we're gonna talk a little bit of console war nonsense and and where i and and how i see things now that i am pc master race so let's let's think about this for a minute guys 4K is the crux of all of our problems. It absolutely is. 4K is the crux of our problems. To run 4K visuals, to run next generation 4K visuals, you need a little bit, you, you need a lot more power than what the PlayStation 5 and Series X have, period. Like, it, it's it's one of those things where if you want pretty visuals or in and, and, and frame rate, you, you're going to have to go PC, guys. You, you're going to have to go. In order for Xbox and PlayStation to keep the cost low enough to where a console makes sense so that they can continue to uh, to invest in the hardware, to, to build games for us, and, and, and to be able to still subsidize that experience, they, they you're, you're not going to get 4K 60 frames per second with next level or with next generation visuals that that that's a pretty tall order for a $500 console that that really is and being on PC now for for a while it it really has put a lot of things into perspective for me um especially the fact that like people like the PlayStation guys and the Xbox guys over on Twitter going at each other all the time you guys need to stop just stop just, just stop. It's stupid. Both of you guys sound ridiculous. You absolutely both sound ridiculous. It, it really is. I used to sound ridiculous when I was doing it too. That's why I quit doing it. Because after going PC and seeing things with my very own two eyes, I can tell you that, yeah, man, like the console generation, guys, this is probably the absolute worst generation that we've ever had hardware wise now now i know what you're thinking these are the most powerful consoles we've ever had and that's absolutely true if you're playing old games and thankfully um both of these consoles have backward compatibility so yes you do get to fully take advantage of the power of your consoles you do you get to play your old games at 60 frames per second you get to play them with higher resolution so yes you are getting to take advantage of that but the new games, the next-gen games, the games that are coming out on Unreal Engine 5 and past that, yes, man, these these game, the, these consoles, it, this is probably the biggest dumb roller coaster we've ever we've ever experienced. Period. And and you can go back to my earlier videos when I was saying that, like, yeah, man, I would rather Xbox shoot for maybe less graphics, but but make sure the frame rate stays at 60 frames a second. But they they can't do that. They they can't do that. Um, and, and here's the reason why, because even if Xbox was to maintain 60 frames per second and maybe not as great a graphics, it would still be fuel for the console war because then, then PlayStation first party games would be coming out at 30 frames per second and they would be having like really good graphics and nobody would care about the performance. And, and here's the thing, guys, we've been playing 30 frames per second on consoles for so long that the the roar of the of the better visuals on the PlayStation side versus what Xbox has at 30 at 60 frames per second um with with you know maybe a slightly better than last generation visuals because we've all seen most of our favorite games running um the last gen versions being upscale or upgraded to 4K at 60 frames per second so we know the consoles are powerful enough to do that we know that we can still 100% run last gen and cross gen games at higher visual fidelity and and higher you know higher frame rates but the thing is is we we we've, we've we've played games at 30 frames per second for so long that if Xbox would have gone the route with 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 making sure the games were running at 60 frames per second they would be suffering the exact same fate that the playstation games are right now that are running at let's let's say at best inconsistent 60 frames per second 
at 720p to, to 1080p resolution, which um, some games can pull it off okay. It just depends, but they're using so much upscaling at these lower resolutions that it makes the games look trash. Like, they, they don't look very good. They would be better off with native resolution at 1080p than with any of this upscaling. The upscaling, the resolutions are far too low for any of this upscaling to actually make sense and make a difference. And and I've tested this, guys. Like, I've went through and I've tested low resolution games on the PC. I've tested things the way they look on the consoles. And why do you think I've dropped out of it, man? Like, I, I don't want to be a negative... I don't want to be a negative person in the community, man. Like, I don't like having to be negative. But, my gosh, man, when I hear some of the nonsense... They gets thrown around over there at Twitter from from the PlayStation dudes that are still playing PlayStation 4 games. Like PlayStation literally is doing what I was telling what I was hoping that Xbox would do and just make the games look a little bit better <clears throat> but still run at 60 frames a second. It's like weird how that like how that how that how the how the tables have turned and that PlayStation is doing what I what I said would probably be the best. Whereas Xbox is shooting for like these really high quality visuals with Hellblade 2. And if, if it was if it was PlayStation, like honestly guys, if the shoe was on the other foot and PlayStation was doing what Xbox is doing with, you know, bringing out 30 frames per second games and, and like higher visual quality and stuff like that, nobody would care and everybody would be happy and it would be celebrated. But seeing as Xbox is doing it, the Xbox is not getting any recognition for doing what they're doing because they're not PlayStation. Xbox. If you're listening to this, Nintendo and PlayStation have the console market. They have the console market. If you were to drop out today, if Xbox was to drop out today, I don't even think it would skip a beat. People would just buy PlayStations. People would just buy Nintendo Switches. Like, I don't think that the console market is really going to be too ruffled if Xbox isn't there. And that's the sad truth. Xbox and Microsoft need to 100% fully embrace the fact that Xbox is more of an entry-level PC. They have to. Um, Xbox could 100% make their their market share and their space significantly bigger if they pull away from the, uh, the, the whole console side of things and make their platform entry-level PC. Like entry-level PC. They could still do like the the, the whole chip design, the, the way they're doing it, but all games going forward would be built for PC. So you would just run the PC version on your Xbox. You would still buy it. It would still play like a home console. It would still do all of that, but it would run the PC um, ex, um, EXE files as opposed to running them like a, a video game software, um, like a closed box. Xbox should embrace, em, embrace that and, and do it immediately. If they really are bringing out a console in 2026, then that's what it needs to be. It needs to be an entry-level PC experience that is going to, to to do what they want to do. And yes, they need to bring out a handheld, a handheld gaming PC, so that so that people can play that on the go. Because that there is actually it, uh, it it's getting pretty big. Like I love my rog, my Rog Ally, and dang, that thing is that thing is pretty pretty nice. So. Yeah, when I see these guys over there fighting about the PlayStation 5 already being at its max and then people's trying to drag Xbox into it and stuff, I'm just like, oh my gosh, my friends. Do you guys realize you guys are, I mean, you guys look pretty dumb right now. Really dumb, because if your game is 60 frames per second on Xbox or PlayStation 5, it looks blurry on a 4K TV. It's it's not the greatest experience. So chances are you're probably not going to play it at that. You're probably going to aim for the 30 frames per second. And then you're going to complain about that because it's not 60 frames per second. And then you're just in a position to where your game is essentially unplayable either way. <laughs> it's unplayable at 30 frames per second. It's unplayable because it's 60 frames a second and blurry. Like it doesn't matter. It never ends. It's never going to end. This is the worst stupid freaking console generation we have ever had this is the first time in history that we have gotten the absolute best looking performing games at the end at the beginning of the generation and then seen it go to sub 1080p visuals and just completely freaking turn the console space on its head you wonder why people aren't buying final fantasy 7 rebirth it looks blurry 
There, you you want I, the 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 game that came out on the PlayStation Four Pro looks better than the one on the PlayStation Five. You wonder why nobody's buying Rise of the Ronin. Again, it it does not look like a next gen game. It it just yeah, it it's not it's not the quality that everybody wants. You wonder why people are coming at freaking Hellblade 2. It's coming out of 30 frames per second. We were told 4K 60. This is the dumbest freaking generation we've ever had, and it makes absolutely no freaking sense. And now you've already got PlayStation talking about a PS5 Pro. Xbox will probably follow suit. They'll either bring out an, a mid-gen refresh or they'll bring out a uh, uh, the, the next generation of Xboxes. But here's the thing, my friends. The one good thing that we have out of this console generation is that if they do put more power into these beasts, we will it will increase the experience. And, and it will be like a lot less work because we've got dynamic resolution and we've got dynamic frame rate. So we won't need to have to wait for any stupid patches or anything like that. It should just be pretty instant. Like it was with, you know, moving from your Xbox Series or your Xbox One X to your Series X or your PS4 Pro to your PS5. It should just be a pretty seamless experience to be able to upgrade from one to the other. So, yeah, man, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I think it's kind of hilarious to watch everybody bickering over there still about, about these consoles when, let's just face it, man, let's just be honest. This is pretty disappointing. We have all been pretty disappointed. Um... At least, at least once throughout this generation so far, there's been at least one game that every one of us have wanted that's come out and it's been subpar or it's been disappointing or it didn't do what, what we were hoping that it would do and, it, and it's left a bad taste in our mouth. And everybody feels like that. Every, everybody on PlayStation feels that way. Everybody on Xbox feels that way. We all feel that way. So why are we still trying to go after each other when both of our consoles are letting us down left and right and... At the end of the day, we're either going to go to freaking PC, we're going to or we're going to accept what we got or we're going to buy a mid-gen refresh. It 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 sucks. This is the worst freaking console generation we've ever freaking had and yeah, dude, like it it sucks. So, all right, my friends, if you guys like this console uh, this this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.